All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's a little later on in spring, so we got some more goodies. This is from the market uh, from last Saturday. So what we're gonna do is quick, simple, a little bit of knife work. So here's what you're starting with. Turnips, Progressive Farms out in Bixby. Little baby onions right here from our dear friends at Two Tomato Farms and Veggies. Tiny little carrots, really baby, W bar M, and dandelion greens. And you might sit there and go, dandelions? Aren't those the weeds in my yard? Weed is the worst word ever given to a dandelion. They're absolutely delicious. And this is all gonna go with uh, Mangalitsa pork tenderloin. We've worked really hard with Kurt Fleischfester of the Coach House, Budavine, and the guys from La Baguette and Walnut Creek Farms up in Wainoka to get this pig in the state. And this will actually be the first time that we get to cook it here at Ludivine. So, prep. Turnip tops off. Right down the center, quarter, and you can see this beautiful color of the turnip pass, which is gonna add something wonderful to the dish. And then I just like to take it down just a little bit smaller to even out the cooking times. All right, onions. Take the tops off, just like that. Boom, bottom and top, bottom, top, bottom, top. Once you clean them up, you can use these. These are basically scallions. You can use them for whatever you want to use them for. Um, we like to use them in pesto. We'll grill them and use them in aiolis. There's tons of different things you can do with these. Next, carrots. You're just going to cut the tops off. Once again, you can save the tops. So, that's literally all the prep you're gonna have to do for this. Um, pork tenderloin or any pork chop, you can get it at any farmer's market, specifically OCOKC, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So, once you have your prep ready to go, it's time to head over to the stove. All right, so here's how you cook. You take your pork tenderloins, a little bit of salt. Always use kosher salt while cooking. All right, so you're gonna wait for the pan to get hot. Take your pork, and just set it in your oil. Nice and easy. Now, your cook time on this is really quick. Take the stuff that's gonna cook longer, turnips and our onion, put them right in the pan. So, what you're looking for in your pork is for it to be caramelized. This style of pork cooks quite quickly, so you'll see already there's caramelizing being done there. And then just kind of rotate it, let it caramelize on all sides. All right, so we're starting to see a little bit of color on the first part of the veg. So you're gonna add the second part, the carrot. What I like to do is to take my pork tenderloin and just finish it in the oven. Continue cooking your veg. When you start to see on the bottom of the pan, everything's starting to get brown, what you're gonna see is residue on the bottom. Now that's flavor and we wanna get it up. A great way to get it up, acid. Our acid of choice, white wine. Don't be afraid of the fire. All right, so once your wine cooks out, add a little bit of our good friend butter. Get that in there. That's gonna add a nice glaze, as you can see. And it's also gonna add a lot of flavor, as you know, butter is flavor. When your butter is melted, that's gonna when you're at, you're gonna add your dandelion greens. So we're good and melted. Take our great dandelion greens here, right in. Just saute them like you would any greens. So this is done. Just set it to the side, let it kind of relax. It'll stay warm from the heat of the pan. Take your pork, add the oven, check it. I like a good mid-rare on mine. That's about where we're sitting right now. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this. And this is where you make your sauce. So, white wine. Do not be afraid of your white wine. So what, that's gonna do the same thing you do with the vegetables. It's gonna pull all that glaze and flavor off the bottom. You're gonna let that reduce down. As you can see, I'm actually doing the pork and finishing it in the sauce, so it'll have even more flavor of the sauce in it. Once your wine reduces by about half, go back to our good friend, butter. So, I'm gonna swirl that butter in there. And now to finish the sauce, grain mustard. Boom. 
Bring mustard right in there. Swirl your mustard in if you need your butter. Then, to finish this off, fresh chopped herbs. And just let that sit and reduce a little bit. Now the fun part, cleaning the dish. All right, you take all these great roasted vegetables and just kind of set them right in there. What I love about this style of cooking and cooking in spring is you get all these great colors, fresh vegetables, nice and simple cooking. Take your pork tenderloin. I like to turn it in the pan, cover it in that sauce. Get a nice glaze, put a piece of pork there. Take a little bit more pork. Now the sauce we've made, just take with your spoon, take a little out, just kind of dazzle it around. Just like that. Now the truffle oil, you can take it, drizzle it around. That's it, roasted mangalisa pork loin, fresh spring vegetables. Simple, easy, grain mustard sauce, little garnish, and oh, you really get that truffle oil.